Why did you join Rotary? Well, um, I, I'm not in Rotary currently right now, but I'm part of the Rotary family being in Rotaract. And I started my experience with the Rotary family uh, when I attended RILA in our district, in District 6450. And from there I decided I was going to become an exchange student. And I went to Brazil as an exchange student. And things just kind of carried along. I said, well, the next step kind of looks like Rotaract, and it looks like something I'd be interested in. So, segue right into Rotaract that way. Well, I was um, just straight up tricked into joining. <laughs> the hospital I worked for has a membership, and the current foundation director had become ill and was going to have to leave work. And she came down on a Tuesday and said, you know, my last day is Thursday, and I have some things that I'd like you to take over. And there was a couple of them, and I didn't mind that. And I said, well, I don't know what Rotary is. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. And she said, come to lunch tomorrow. It's free. So what we are going to do is have each of our panel members specifically answer one question that we will throw their way. The opposite side of the stage will then have an opportunity to respond to either the initial response or just the question. As it is the quality of the members we attract to our club. Most people want to finish anyway. <laughs> Main Street, business and professional people are primarily interested in the bottom line. Don't waste your time on them. Look for the givers. If the quality of our new members is what it should be, then the future of Rotary is rosy indeed. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I must say that with this, it's really important to, just as if you're updating computers and things like that, you're going through updates, but you still have that final software that's still there. And you have to do that with culture and lo locality, making sure that it's the locality and the, the culture in that lo locality that is, is changing, but not too fast above the, above the curve, you know. Because we are an international organization, we're quite diverse in that means, and I believe that it's important to Keep, keep it at the club level of changing that culture and, and that responsibility of, of culture. That's a job. I think we have to remember that Rotary has always been flexible. There has been discussion at all levels of Rotary about the need to have an engaged membership. Once engaged, our members will not want to miss a meeting, an event, a project, or a program. How do you feel about focusing on engagement rather than attendance? Thanks for the question, Mary Beth. I think it's critical to focus on engagement rather than attendance because we're an organization of volunteers, and so we're not being paid to be there, and we need to make sure we motivate people to be there. Um, and not only to be there, but to be involved because we're only as good as our members are. And if we're just focusing on attendance and making sure that this person has 82% or 90% or whatever, they can come, they can do nothing at a meeting. They're not adding anything to that meeting, to a social event, to a service event, anything like that. I think attendance is important in order to measure who's there but it shouldn't be the baseline of things that we need to focus on the engagement instead because we're gonna get more active and involved people from that standpoint. Okay, now we're gonna ask one of our senior leaders to volunteer, whoever wants to hold the mic and respond. It's a good response. And my response to the question about engagement a lot of times is, it's not about engagement or attendance, it's about connection. If you're connected, if you're connected amongst your members and social networks,